Alright guys, Zachman18 here. Welcome back to TZM TV Channel 18. It's time for another Learning with the Zachman18. Today is Tuesday, February 21st, the 52nd day of 2012. There are 314 days left in the year. Today's highlight, in 1912, a new phrase entered the American political lexicon as former President Theodore Roosevelt, traveling by train to the Ohio Constitutional Convention, told the reporter in Cleveland that my hat is in the ring, signaling his intent to challenge President William Howard Taft for the Republican nomination. Also on this date in history, in 1862, Nathaniel Gordon captured at sea with nearly 900 Africans aboard his ship, the Erie, became the first and only American slave trader to be executed under the U.S. Piracy Law of 1820 as he was hanged in New York. In 1885, the Washington Monument was dedicated. In 1911, <clears throat> Composer Gustav Mahler, despite a fever, conducted the New York Philharmonic at Carnegie Hall in what turned out to be his final concert, and he died the following May. In 1916, the World War I Battle of Verdun began in France as German forces attacked. <coughs> the French were able to prevail after ten months of fighting. In 1925, the New Yorker magazine made its debut. In 1945, during the World War II Battle of Iwo Jima, the escort carrier USS Bismarck C was sunk by kamikazes with the loss of 318 men. In 1965, black Muslim leader and civil rights activist Malcolm X, uh, he was 39, he was shot to death inside the Audubon Ballroom in New York by assassins identified as members of the Nation of Islam. Finally, uh, in, in 1986, Larry Wu Tai Chin, the first American found guilty of spying for China, killed himself in his Virginia jail cell. That's what happened on this day in history, uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday, February 22nd, for another episode of Learning with the Zachman 18. I'll see you guys later.